Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Akbar and I am a student of Electronics Engineering Department in University of Engineering and Technology, Texila. Currently, I am working with research group named as Syndicate of Embedded and Electronic Design Seed. The topic of my presentation is Machine Bearing Fall Diagnosis System Using Triaxial Accelerometer. Here are the list of contents which I am going to cover in this presentation. First, there is introduction, then materials and methods, after that, results, and at last, conclusion. The introduction portion is comprised of three subheadings. First of all, motivation. Basically, as you know that we are surrounded by machines and most of our biggest tasks are done by using machines. Faults in machines is a natural thing and most importantly, bearing faults is the leading cause of whole rotating mechanical system failure. So in order to avoid large breakdown failure of rotating machinery, it is important to identify faults on early basis and diagnose them before they become critical. And bearing faults? Bearing fault is of many types and it also depends on rotating machinery also. But in my case, I have considered faults termed as outer race, inner race and normal. And as you can show, uh, see in the figure uh, that the first one is the normal bearing, then inner race fault bearing and then outer race fault bearing which is the fault at the outer ring of the bearing. Then moving towards the literature review, different techniques and methods were proposed by numerous authors on the diagnosis of bearing faults in rotating machines. I have listed on a few of them. In 2014, classical SVM and ISVM techniques were used for bearing fault diagnosis and maximum accuracy achieved in this case was 98.73% for outer race and 94.49% for inner race. In 2017, multi-scale entropy local mean decomposition techniques were used for bearing faults in novel wind turbine and the accuracy in this case was 99.2%. In 2017, Wavelet autoencoder with extreme learning machine method is pro are proposed for bearing faults in motor and the average accuracy in this case was 95.20%. In 2018, dynamic recurrent neural network uh, software classifier for fault recognition bearing faults in rotating machinery were proposed and the maximum accuracy in this case was 99.12%. Empirical, in 2019, empirical mode decomposition, deep neural network and, uh, and classifier SVM four vector machine is, uh, is used for bearing and gear boxes faults in rotating machinery and the accuracy in this case in this proposed method was 96.33%. In methods and materials, first of all, data acquisition. Vibrational data was acquired from Bean device AX 3DS wireless triaxial accelerometer. This Bean Air device consists of Bean Gateway outdoor and indoor versions. The outdoor version is connected to the laptop through an Ethernet cable and Beanscape software is used to communicate it wirelessly with indoor version. This sensor is very sensitive and we gather data at a sampling frequency of 1000 Hz. Then as you can see in the figure, the rotating machinery used for this research is quarter horsepower motor which runs at a speed of 600 rotation per minute. Vibrational data was acquired using triaxial accelerometer sensor mounted on the stop surface of the motor as shown in the figure. The table shows that this, there are there are 1155 samples for healthy bearing and 2310 samples for faulty bearing which comprised of inner and in, uh, outer race faults. Preprocessing Basically, the vibrational data acquired from sensor is raw and contains some noise and artifacts which must be removed so that we can extract our region of interest accuracy. So for this purpose, we used 
empirical mode decomposition technique. Basically, empirical mode decomposition is a method of decomposing signals which are often non-linear and non-stationary into independent signal components known as intrinsic mode functions IMF without leaving the time domain. First IMF contained the highest frequency and a lot of noise compared to others. The last IMF contained the lowest frequency and finally the residual which contained the trend of the signal. As you can see that in uh, this is the healthy bearing and unhealthy bearing empirical mode decomposition and uh, they, these plots contain this original signal all the IMFs and the residual. These are plots of the segmented healthy bearing and segmented unhealthy bearing for time domain and frequency domain. Then moving towards the feature extraction, the main aim of this research is to enhance the efficiency of classifier. So it is necessary to find out the most compact and discriminative set of features that can best distinguish between healthy and unhealthy bearing using vibrational signals. So in this research, only two features are hauled out, which are named as skewness and root mean skew. So classification. SVM sport vector machine is used to categorize the acquired vibrational signal into healthy and unhealthy bearing. It is the supervised machine learning algorithm formally defined by separating hyperplane. As you can see that in the figure attached, how it divides the hyperplane by drawing the margins. Then results. This table shows that the summary of SVM medium version classifier accuracy on different group of features and you can see that the only by using skewness and root mean skewer two features we can we get the maximum accuracy which is 99.8 percent the graph here shows the performance evolution over different classification method and you can see that the 99.8 percent accuracy was achieved using using svm medium gaussian and the maximum results were obtained also by using SVM medium version. This is the uh, confusion matrix here shows uh, that 2 out of 1155 healthy records are misclassified and 6 out of 2310 unhealthy faulty samples are detected with healthy level by SVM medium version. To conclude, I would like to say that a new practice for sorting of healthy and faulty bearing using vibrational analysis is proposed. The system brings massive enhancement since only two features are used and diagnose bearing faults in rotating machine with more diagnostic accuracy. Maximum diagnostic accuracy. In addition to that, computational com uh, complexity of our approach is quite less. But there are still uh, limitations in future we aim to collect data of more faults in rotating machinery so to train classifier with more faults. These are the references and that's all from my side. Thank you.